Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Okay, everyone, so today we will be playing savings challenge games and I'm really excited because in today's video, I'm going to try to complete some of my summer savings challenges. We are in September now and I really want to start my fall savings challenges, but I just think I should try to complete some of these or get them as close to done as possible before I move into the next season and start some new fall savings challenges so that's what today's video is all about wrapping up some of these summer savings challenges and hopefully you guys are as excited about this as I am so let me show you what we have going on I've got my fully funded slips right here these are available on my Etsy shop they come blank and you can decorate them yourselves these ones came from two sister bees and so I've got some fully funded slips right here in case we do get to complete some of these but I'm just not sure that we will but they're there regardless over here I've got my busy bee cards now I did move the envelope around these were the cards that I had already drawn um, and so I had been keeping the ones I already pulled aside um, and so I got this so that I could put the done ones in but now I'm thinking maybe I should put the not done ones in here so that I can just easily draw one right off the top and then we'll put the done ones back in the box. I think that's a good idea. And I'm not necessarily trying to complete these Busy Bee cards. I just thought they're kind of summery and cute. And so they would go along great with um, this summer challenge video. So that's why I've got the Busy Bees pulled out. Um, I'm shuffling them up and then I'm just going to do this so that they're in. Oops, oops, oops. Um, in order that I just don't know what order they're in. And then that way I can put them in here and then just draw one off the top. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll call that Busy Bees right up there. Um, these are my wild cards. I won't need those. Let me set those aside. And then the done ones we can put in here. That way I can hang on to the done ones and not put them back into the mix. Cause I would like to get through the entire Busy Bee before I consider them complete. So for the Busy Bee, I shifted it over into this binder because I had completed some challenges that had these little shaker envelopes. So I just wanted Busy Bees to be in this one. And so that's the money for Busy Bees and that one is gonna go right on top. And then for my summer scratch off, I am going to put that here in this binder as well in this pretty little pink shaker envelope. And so that we will try to do as well. And those will be in this binder here. This one here lives in an A5 and this one here lives in this little mini binder. But before we get started with these, we need to get the money out and see what we're working with as far as money goes. So right here in the back, I have some money that I cash stuffed in my last cash stuff uh weekly cash stuff so that is my bills binder and i like to just put the money in the back there in the savings envelope and then when we want to play games we just pull it and we can play Alrighty, so let's give this account and see how much we have to work with we got 51 50 oh geez an odd 50 really <laughs> all right i'm just gonna go for it we got 50, 150, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 60, 70. So 275, 80, 85, 90, 95. So 310 dollars i believe that is correct because we had 410 and then i used a hundred dollar bill on my mini binder so that seems correct to me the only thing is the 50s are going to have to share a spot with the fully funded slips in order to fit all of this on my little cash tray 
So there we go. That is all set. Perfect. So the first one that I want to do is this one here, which is the Paradise Island Savings. I really want to get somewhere on this and try to get it like pretty almost complete. I do not think we will be able to complete it today just because I've added it up on my calculator and it seems like there's quite a lot of money to go. Um, since I made these images 20 and $15, which next time I think I'll go lower just so that I can kind of get through the game a little faster. So what I've decided to do, I'm pretty sure we left off here and we were working our way back up the board. And instead of rolling the dice and just coloring in where I land, I'm going to roll the dice and I'm going to fill in every single spot um, as we go. So if I get a six, I'm going to fill in six spots. If I get a four, I'll, fi I'll fill in four. Okay. So that's basically how I'm going to do it. So why don't we go ahead and roll the dice. We're right here and let's see how many we're coloring in. All right, here we go. So one, so that is this large image right here, which is $20. So let's go ahead and add the 20 onto the calculator and then we'll roll again. Five. All right. So we've got, whoa. <laughs> All right. We've got one, two, three, four, and five. So that's right here to this $5, which has already been scratched and I will just color as well. So we're adding five plus 10 plus 15 plus one plus one equals. So we should be up to 52 right now if I color all of these in. And I say we roll one more time at least and we'll just kind of go bounce back and go back down the board. So let me just fill these in and hopefully we'll be able to get like, if not completed, like pretty close because this one's been going for a little while. I really love it. It's such a beautiful board game, um, but it is kind of summery and it does make me think of like the beach, which we just spent a weekend at Narragansett Beach in Rhode Island. And that was gorgeous. Talk about Paradise Island. We were right on the ocean. It was gorgeous. So we got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one so far. We should be at 52. Let's roll again. We'll hit this one and then bounce back down. All right, so here we go. Let's give it a roll, see what else we're getting. We got a two. So we're going to do this one for 20. So $20 right here on this large image. So add 20, add, and then one more will be this five here. So let's color this one in, add the five. So we're up to 77 now. I don't want to, I don't want to forget to add on the calculator. I'm trying not to forget anything, but I think I'm good so far. Okay, so I think we can keep rolling, to be honest. Let's just keep working our way down and see what else we get. So we got a six. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five and then six so that seems like a pretty good amount um let's add those up first well we have to scratch to know what we're what we have so let's scratch this one and it's a five which is great and then i have this little kitty here so that i don't make too much of a mess on this board perfect so we'll add the five dollars and then we need to add a dollar and then we need to add 20 and then we need to scratch this one to see how much we're adding. So this one's a 10. So then we're going to add the 10 and then we're going to add the five and then we're going to add another 20. So 138 is what we have so far. So that seems really good. And I need to color in all of these boxes. So let me just do that really quickly. All right, so we're at 138 and I decided I wanna color in this dollar. So I'll add that in. Oops, I messed it up. 138 plus a dollar. Plus I wanna do this 10 here and that's 149. So I'm actually gonna round up. I'm going to fill these two in and I'm gonna do $150 into this challenge. 
that will get us significantly closer to completing this one. And then I think the next time we do savings challenges or games, we will absolutely have a completed challenge on our hand. So 149 is going in. So we need to pull the 5150. Like I said, I'm gonna round up. We'll do a solid 150 in there. I can get rid of this calculator, this marker, but what I want to do is flip this over onto the back. And back here, I have, um, I need to write September and we'll write round seven and we're adding a hundred and fifty dollars which means if we had 209 plus 150 we have about 359 and again this won't exactly match what is in the envelope because i used to play this um to pay down debt so i used to use the money to pay down debt with this so it won't exactly match but paradise island is right here in the front and need to pull out the money here so we're going to add the 150 in we can add it right on top since that's a 50 in paradise island in total we have 50 152 so 220 40 50 60 70 80 85 90 95 300 5 10 15 20 21 22 23 24 $324 so far in Paradise Island savings. I'll pop that right back in. And that is it for that binder. So let's set Paradise Island aside and let's roll some on this tropical sunshine, um, which is so beautiful. The last one came from Tracy Monster and everything is linked in the description below. This one comes from Lisa Grateful Me at the Happy Mailbox Co. And I think we should roll two dice at a time and we can just fill them in as we go. I'm gonna use a pink marker for this one. So let's give it a roll and see what we get. All right, so we got a five and a five. So let's put 10 there and we will fill in a five and a five. All right, so we got 10 so far. We got a two and a one, so let's add three. So we got 13 and we got a two and a one. So then let's roll again. So we got a five and a two, so we'll add five and add two. And we're at $20 and we have a five and a two. Why don't we stick with $20 for right now since that's a nice round number, I'll leave this out. Um, I'll set my dice there just for now. And then, yeah, let's start with the 20 and then we can come back to it if we have more money. But I definitely want to try to get that summer scratch and save done. We have a dollar in quarters down there and we're adding 20. So 20, 40, 50, 51, 2, 3, and 54 with the quarters. So $54 in this one, which is awesome. And we'll put that one aside for now. Now. Let's set this aside and let's pull some Busy Bee cards. So we've played two games so far. So let's pull two Busy Bee cards and see what we get. All right, so we got some Honey Money, save $4, one, two, three, four. And then we got Spelling Bee. So roll the dice and see which prompt to do below. So let's give it a roll and see. We got a one. Something you read, which would be book, I would say. So B-O-O-K is another $4. So one, two, three, four dollars going into Busy Bee cards. Let's just set the cash for Busy Bees right up top here for now. Again, we'll put the done ones down in here. So the done ones will go down in here and then we'll probably end up pulling more cards. So I'll just leave the money for that right up there. All right, so let's get into this one. So this one here, of course, we've got our Busy Bees on top, and then I've got my Summer Scratch and Save. I definitely want to hit my Summer Scratch and Save and see if I can get this one close to completed. Um, I'd like to complete it, but I don't know. Uh, we had an 18 and a 14, and it's a $200 savings challenge. So let's just see. We've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92. I've got $200 right there. I mean, we could complete it. Let's get to scratching and see what we get. So we have a 20. 
So again, let's use our calculator here and we'll put a 20. We have a 22, so let's add in 22. We're at 42. We have a 13 and a cute little pair of sunglasses. So let's add 13. We're at 55, let's keep going. We have 15, ooh, that's nice, so 15. So $70, let's keep going. And 26, oh, I thought it was gonna be a 20. <laughs> All right, so 26 on the pair of flip-flops, so let's add 26. We're at 96 right now. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. All right, I mean, we can keep going. Maybe I should just complete it. I said, I mean, I've got these fully funded slips here, so we've got to complete something, right? Why don't we complete the summer scratch and save? Let's see what else we have. We've got a 17, so 113, and we have a 30. So let's add the 30, so we're at 143. Last one right here, we might as well. Beach ball for 25. So let's add the 25 and that's $168 that we need to put into this one. Let me scratch off all the surface and clean this up so I can show it to you guys and then we will grab the $168. All right, you guys, so I have scratched it all off. You can see all of the cute little symbols there on our summer scratch and save. And this one is available in my Etsy shop. If you guys like them, they come in a bundle or as singles. You can get them in 50, 100, 200. You can get summer, winter, spring, and fall. You can also get them laminated or non-laminated depending on how you like to scratch. So for this one, we have $168 that needs to go in. So we'll go 20, 40, 60, 81. There's 100. And oops, we better keep going. 20, 40, 60. There's 160. And then let's go five. And then we'll go six, seven, eight. Or maybe we should just round right up. Hang on to those lower ones. Why don't we do that? We will round up and just put an even 170 in. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70. 170 going into the summer scratch and save fully funded with the cute little popsicles. Love these. So let's grab out that envelope. And why don't we, oops, it's right here. Fully funded with the money, with the challenge going down in, probably should have done it one at a time, but there it is. Cute, cute, cute. So let's pull another Busy Bee card and let's actually pull two more because I'm gonna do, um, we just did one challenge here and I'm pulling another Busy Bee for that and then I'm gonna go back to this one. So let's pull two Busy Bee cards and then we will put them away. So that's the four from previous. Let's set that there. Let's grab our Busy Bees out. Let's pull one and two. All right. So for Busy Bees, we got a three. So one, two, three over here for Honey Money. And then between the lines. So this one says, save based on the genre of the last book you read. So let me get this a little closer because it's kind of hard to see. Fantasy, sci-fi, mystery, horror, drama, suspense, romance, or parenting. Children's, a cookbook or a self-help book. Mon manja or comics i don't know if i pronounced that right it might be manga uh crafting self-help newspaper or crime everything else honestly i think the last book i read was uh i would say parenting but you know what it wasn't it was a cookbook my <laughs> my stepmom likes to give me cookbooks um, so we're going to put a dollar for cookbooks and I definitely went through and read some of those recipes. I mean, I sat down with that book in my chair and like read through the cookbook. So cookbook was $1. We added in the dollar. We'll put the done ones here. We will pop those right on top. And then let's count up what we have going into Busy Bees for today. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve dollars. 
Why don't we leave two dollars down and then we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. That these two are upside down. That's gonna drive. Oh, this one's upside down too. This one's okay. There we go. So again, we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten going in, ten coming out. We still have twelve dollars. And that will wait, where was busy bees again? <laughs> right here. All right, so that's gonna go into the busy bees. Why don't we give this envelope a count and see where we are at? Oops, lost a dollar. So we've got our 10 on top, our twos on the bottom, our two ones on the bottom. And in total, we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. $44 in Busy Bee cards. Not bad at all. Let's pop that back in. And this binder is all set fully funded there. And then the last thing I want to do is just pull out that tropical sunshine. So let's keep rolling on this and see where we get. I mean, we could do that or we could give another roll on the other one. I'm just worried 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. No, I think I'm going to stick with tropical sunshine. I'm just worried because the paradise island gets to be like a little bit high sometimes. So let's get our calculator back out, our dice back out, and let's keep rolling. So you got a four and a one for five. So we're going to put our four, we're going to put our one, we're going to put a five down just so I can kind of see if we're running low on money. Um, and then let's roll again. We've got a six and a two. So we've got a six and a two. So plus six plus two and six, seven, eight. So we'll go five six, seven, eight dollars, and we should be at 13 total. Let's keep rolling. So we get a five and a one for six. So five and a one for five, six dollars. So add the six. Now we're at 19. Let's keep rolling. We've got a six right here and a four for 10. So we'll go five, 10, and we will add the 10. We should be at 29. Let's keep rolling. We got two threes. So let's write those in. We've got a three and a three for six. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll put the six. We'll add the six. And we're at 35. Let's trade this money in and see what some condensing will look like for us. Perfect. Perfect. So again, we should have 35 so far. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Let's keep a $5 bill. Let's trade this in for our 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, wow, I didn't do math right, <laughs> clearly. Let's put $10 down. Let's do 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So yes, that is correct. $20 here and we should still have 35, 20, 25, 30, 35. That is correct. And we've got some more money now. So I say we just keep rolling and see how many more we can do. So let's give it a roll as my pen's rolling away. So another six. So we've got a five and a one and we'll add six and we'll put five six. Let's keep going. So we got a five. We have a four and a one for five. Now that is our last five, but we've got some ones here. So I say we give it another roll. Ooh, another 10, a six and a four. Let's see. I really hope I don't have an IOU. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. Yes, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, so we got to add the 10. So 51, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think we have $51 if I did my math correct along the way. Let's take a peek and see. So going into the tropical sunshine, we have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. So I think I forgot to add the five. 
from the four and the one. So 56, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 56 is correct. And I don't want to keep rolling because I don't know that we will land on two. So what I'm going to do is, this might be controversial, guys, but I'm going to write a one and a one, and I'm going to add my $2 in right there because, like I said, I really want to kind of get somewhere on this. That leaves us one, two, three, four, five, six spots left on the tropical sunshine, and then we will have a fully funded um, game probably the next time we play this one. So in total, going into Tropical Sunshine, we have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So $58 is what's going in here. And this one is in my mini savings challenge binder. Let's add it up with what's already in this envelope and see where we're at. So all in all, the Tropical Sunshine Challenge has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have $111 in this challenge so far. Oh, wait, plus a dollar, so 112. Um, and we are six rolls away from being able to complete it, which is awesome. So that was really fun. I'm glad that we actually got to complete one savings challenge today and use one of these fully funded slips. We didn't get them all complete, but that is all right. We got ourselves one step closer to finishing summer and being able to start my fall savings challenges. I can't wait for that video. Um, yeah, very excited about that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is going to be it for today. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.